I am extremely sore. I am just so super tired and exhausted. I am really exhausted. I feel like each day is just getting harder and harder. Today is September 20th, 2021, and I am starting the 75 hard challenge. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? 75 hard. There are five rules. Two 45 minute workouts, and one of these has to be outside. Drink a gallon of water a day. Take a progress picture. Read 10 pages of a non-fiction book. Follow a diet, any diet, stick to it. No cheat days, no cheat meals. So a lot of people watching this video, I feel like probably don't know who I am since this is a very niche video. Um, so hi, my name is Sydney and for the past couple years of my life, I've really, really struggled with a lot of mental health, depression, anxiety, confidence, just all of that. I've had a lot of struggles with it and for the past two weeks, I've been putting in a ton of effort into trying to just be a healthier person and I'm ready to kick it in gear and take that next step. I feel like 75 hard is going to challenge me in all the right ways. Today was easy because it was day one. I know today was easy because I was so excited about it. Good morning, today is day two of 75 hard. This is my first time using a half gallon water bottle and it is so huge. I have to drink two of these. Now being the morning after 75 hard day one, I am extremely sore and exhausted. If this was any other challenge, I would definitely take a rest day today or do a light workout, but this is 75 hard. So I'm gonna push myself through. I know it's just gonna take time for my body to adjust to how much movement I'm doing, how much water I'm drinking and all of that stuff. But I am really excited to get started today. Yesterday I finished Andy Frisella, is that how you say his name? I finished his podcast on his tips for 75 hard and now I have all the knowledge I need. The one thing that I didn't know that he talks about is that you are not supposed to do the workouts back to back. I did not do that yesterday, but I was planning on potentially doing that. So now I know in between I need to take like 30 minute to an hour break at least probably. And you know, I can eat breakfast or do my reading or whatever in that time. All right, water drinking session. I think my goal is to try to have this water bottle done before my second workout. I'm in the car ready to go to the gym and I am just so super tired and exhausted, but that's when you need to push through the most and that is where I will get some of that mental toughness out of this challenge. about to fall off. So I did my day 19, I think, of my Chloe Teen workout. I only did 30 minutes of that. So I spent my last 15 minutes doing like a shoulder bicep workout and I lifted heavier than I normally do because I feel like I'm getting stronger and I could do it, but now I feel like I'm about to die and my arms are gonna fall off. Day three little update, I've done both of my workouts. It is amazing weather outside. It actually feels like fall here in Texas. It was like low 80s. It was high 70s this morning. Felt amazing when I went out to the car to go to the gym. This is my second water bottle. I'm a little behind on it because I drink a coffee on my walk, but I'm planning on trying to finish this by five so I'm not up all night going to the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna shower and then do my reading, finish drinking this, get some work done. I already took my progress picture. Just gotta eat a nice dinner and I'll be complete. Reading time. I'm at Goodwill right now, but I uh, just finished my gallon of water today. A little late, it's almost seven, but I did it. Hello, 
Today is day four of 75 hard. I am really exhausted. It's definitely like catching up to me, all these workouts with no rest and my body is so tired. So I'm gonna take it a little bit easier today, but I am not gonna skip. Today is gonna be one of those days where it's like an active rest day, but I'm still getting in those two 45 minute workouts. Just taking it a little bit slower, lighter weights, stuff like that. But I'm still gonna go to the gym. So let's go. I can speak to wasn't as tired as I thought and this was actually the most intense workout I've done so far. I burned the most calories, I was lifting heavy weight, and I went really hard because I got there and was like, wait, I'm so motivated. And this isn't 75 easy, it's 75 hard. So I did the hard thing. And now I am gonna go home, I'll make breakfast, potentially do my reading and then go on my walk, or I'll do my walk then do my reading. Something coming up, I've really talked much in this video, so let me talk real quick. So we're on day four, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, so Saturday I am going on a five hour road trip to help some friends down in their hometown and then coming back up five hours on Sunday. So those two days are gonna be difficult and that is gonna be a test of my commitment to this challenge because I'm gonna have to wake up pretty early um, on Saturday and then I'll end up probably doing my Sunday workouts late in the evening. So I actually ended up getting a Jimmy John's Beach Club Unwitch sandwich for breakfast, lunch-ish, whatever that is. And now I am on my 45 minute walk of the day. Just started it seven minutes in. I'm really tired, but it is such good weather outside. I think it's like high 70s, low 80s. Feels amazing. All right, so it's day five. Yeah, day five. I'm not feeling very motivated today. Again, I'm really sore because I went ham yesterday at the gym but i'm here at the park i'm actually gonna start with my walk my outdoor 45 minute workout first today and then i'm gonna go home and actually have a lot of workouts on my like chloe ting workouts because i'm doing her 21 or 28 day shred challenge summer shred oh my gosh i said that so bad um anyway so that's the plan both my workouts I actually didn't do them back to back even though it kind of looks like I did and finished my first half gallon I'm definitely on a little bit of a struggle today because it is already three o'clock and I should be almost done with my second so rip hi good morning a um, little summary about yesterday just to let you know that yesterday was one of the hardest days so far I feel like each day is just getting harder and harder so yesterday I was procrastinated everything i did my 45 minute walk first okay that was great it was really good weather and it was nice then i came home and did not want to work out but i finally convinced myself like two hours later to do a 45 minute workout i did it here at home and then um i didn't finish my water until like 11 o'clock at night or something like that last night so i was like up peeing all night i did my reading in bed the only thing i actually remember to do when I normally do it is take my progress picture um, but I ate within my calorie budget so I did good I still did it still did it even though I didn't want to but it was rough today I'm going on a road trip so I'm up early about to do my workouts and my reading and hopefully drink a lot of water that's gonna suck drinking all that water and then going on a road trip so wish me luck I'm gonna be stopping every 10 minutes it's been about 30 minutes and uh, I had to stop again uh, and then I'm road tripping back home tomorrow, so wish me luck. <laughs> It's been about 30 minutes and uh, I had to stop again. Update, the whole not stopping thing for the rest of the trip is not gonna be an option. So, 
Hopefully this is the last stop. Let's go to the bathroom. And 75 hard week one is over. I'm at my friend's house, by the way. That's where I'm filming. So. Here's my summary of week one. <laughs> it started like super hype and easy because I was so excited and then progressively it definitely got hard. I put myself to the challenge of if I'm fully committed by going on two trips over the weekend and it was super hard. On Sunday, day seven, I literally didn't start anything until like 5 p.m. That was a crazy day. Um, the hardest thing I think so far is literally drinking the gallon of water. I genuinely have not done anything that hard. Like it's, I don't know, I'm really bad at drinking water and I don't really like water. And then if I wait too long, then I'm up all night going to the bathroom. And there's been nights that I finished at midnight, so. <laughs> but overall, I'm actually already starting to see changes. Um, I was working out before this, so it's not only because I'm pretty far from my heart, but it's definitely pushing me even further and I'm starting to see changes. You know, I've lost a little bit of weight and stuff like that, which is super exciting. But I've also seen so many mental changes, like seeing myself push through when I think I can't do it anymore and just those little things. And I think as it goes on, that'll progress even more. I feel like I'm already so much more like emotionally stable and having a like hard routine every day and having to do things every day. It's very helpful. <laughs> I feel so much stronger. I feel healthier I just feel so good I feel great and I think the best advice I can give for someone who's starting 75 hard is to take it one day at a time don't think about oh I have to do this 70 more days just take it one day at a time have fun with it do workouts that are fun for you and like my friends have been going with me on walks and that makes the outdoor workout like super fun and easy so so far week one is super fun hard challenging but that's part of it that's what it is so I hope you guys enjoyed week one. I'm gonna keep updating you guys either once a week, if not more. So stay tuned, make sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!